anti-narrative is in display, guys. The Western media have started again. They are trying to tarnish the image of Ibrahim Traore, the leader of Burkina Faso, through the Western media force narrative. Currently, as we are speaking, Burkina Faso has suspended the radio broadcast of BBC Africa and the US-founded Voice of America for two weeks over their coverage of a Human Rights Watch report accusing the Burkina Faso Army of mass killing of civilians. Burkina Faso's communication spokesperson said both radio stations will be suspended for two weeks and they have one other media network as well. In the report based on their own Western narrative, they are saying Burkina Faso military executed about 223 villages, including at least 56 children in February as part of a campaign against civilians accused of collaborating with jihadist militants. It is false, guys. That information is completely false. This was the same thing they did to Gaddafi when they created those terrorists Al-Qaeda. They used the terrorists to analyze on Libyans and then accused Gaddafi of using his soldiers to eliminate his people. After that, they came out hypocritically like they are not behind what happened. So they interviewed Gaddafi. Gaddafi told them, listen, those guys are not my people. Those guys in the video are terrorist group Al-Qaeda. They are Al-Qaeda. They are not my people. Watch the video. If, no, no. if, if you say they do love you, then why are they capturing Benghazi and they say they're against you there? Why are they in Syria? It is a guide. It is a guide. It is guide. Not my people. It is guide. Al-Qaeda. Guide. Guide. Yes. You see, listen, they have started the same thing in Burkina Faso. They will use the media to instigate your people against you. This is what they have been doing. The Burkina Faso's communication council said, the Western media report contained peremptory and tendentious declaration against the army likely to create public disorder. And because of that, they will suspend the programs of the broadcasters over their coverage of the story. Now, according to BBC spokesperson, the BBC has received a letter from the Superior Council of the Communication confirming the suspension of their broadcast operations in Burkina Faso for two weeks in direct response to their journalism of their recent first report by Human Rights Watch accusing Burkina Faso's military of analyzing civilians now after receiving the letter listen to what they said the suspensions reduces the bbc's ability to reach audience with independence and accurate news we will continue to report on the region in the public interest without fear and favor you see they have always behaved this way like they care for the people more than the government through this same strategy of false narrative Ghanaians revolted against Kwame Nkrumah and Ghana is now in the hands of looters and robbers who can't even provide constant electricity for their citizens. Through this same system of false narrative, Congolese revolted against Patrice Lumumba. And since then, Congo has never been the same. Through this same anti-narrative strategy, the people of Libya revolted against Gaddafi. And today, Libya is almost beyond repair. I expect the people of Burkina Faso, together with all Africans, to be vigilant this time. This guy have started the anti-narrative to mislead the public against their freedom fighters. If you go to their platform and check what is happening in the Middle East, they tell you Israel is unaliving terrorists. Meanwhile, Israel is actually unaliving civilians. You try to check what is happening in Burkina Faso, they tell you the soldiers are unaliving civilians. Meanwhile, the soldiers are fighting terrorists. The Western media has always been on the deceptive side. The soldiers of Burkina Faso are doing their best to liberate the rest of the regions that are being terrorized. You can clearly see how the people are always happy around the military anytime a village is liberated from terrorist attack. Guys, let's be vigilant. This time, when it comes to the narrative war, they have lost it. Because if we hear it, we will attack it. And I know you also push it by sharing and liking. This is not the old days where there were lack of information so they can easily manipulate the people. This time, informations are everywhere. Let's be vigilant.